So here are the regression results. So recall if I add the dummy of whether the DMA is in the treatment group or not in the period dummy, we estimated a treatment effect of minus 1.3. If I omit this dummy for the DMA, whether it's in the treatment group or control group, we have the second regression and we found a, find a much more negative estimator for the effect of turning search marketing off on the average revenues. We find minus 28. But this estimator is very likely negatively biased. Why is that the case? Look at this diagram here. So we know that this indicator, whether the DMA is in the treatment group or not, is positively uh, correlated with the um, uh, interaction term here because only DMAs in the treatment group can indeed turn off the search engine marketing. But we also saw from our data set that even before the experiment took place, those DMAs in the treatment group had lower revenues. So there's basically, from this line, we have a negative indirect correlation between being treated and the revenues, just by the fact that the DMAs who were treated were DMAs who generally had lower revenues. And if you don't control, basically, with this dummy treat I, whether the DMA was in the treatment or control group, then our estimator beta one had also indirectly accounts for this negative effect and we find a very strongly negative estimator of minus 20a which is surely negatively biased interestingly this minus 28 what was exactly the difference between the revenues in the treatment group and control group just in the experimental period so we basically if we would omit the treatment dummy from our uh regression, the treatment group dummy from our regression, we have this simple difference estimator uh, of the differences in the treatment and control group just in the experimental period, but we don't correct for the fact that also pre-experimental, in the pre-experimental period, control group and treatment group had very much different revenues.